Hey guys, happy Sunday everyone. Um, welcome to my backyard garden. This is Mary. Uh, today the weather was kind of uh, cold and uh, drizzly all day. So it was, it's wet outside. And uh, right now I'm in my garden because I need to do some uh, last planting before it snows this week. But first, before I do that, I would like to show you my garden. Some kind of critter invaded my garden. It's probably a groundhog or some um, rabbit or a bunnies. Look, they ate all the um, carrots. They mowed everything. My poor carrots and um, kohlrabi greens. <laughs> oh my gosh. And um, kale. Oh my goodness. They're after the uh, leaf, green leafy vegetables. So I, it's either that is the groundhog because my garden was invaded by a groundhog before or a bunny. I'll go to the other side and show you what else they did. They did a lot of damage to my garden. It's kind of sad. The garden is sad. I really have to, um, I need to get a, um, a trap. See, look. The critter mowed all the celery, not celery, uh, parsley. They're all bare. They ate all the leaves. And if I don't harvest some of this, it will be gone overnight. <laughs> oh my goodness. I guess they don't like marjoram because the marjoram is still standing. And all the um, other, um, the kale that I planted here at the other side, they are all bare. Look, they ate everything. Oh my goodness. And more parsley. Whew. It's hard when you get a, um, you know, some animals in the garden. I don't know how they got in because um, my garden is actually um, fenced up all around. Uh, hmm. So I got to do something. So anyway, I'm going to, um, oh, before that, um, hopefully this garlic, the garlic bed is safe. I think the critters don't like to eat um uh, garlic or onion so they should be safe but look how the garlic are doing really really good they're all healthy I didn't put any compost yet uh, maybe in the springtime I'll put some compost from my um, uh, the one that I'm working on it right now because by the time springtime come next, comes next year they'll be ready so I'm going to do some planning today. I'll show you guys. So today I would like to uh, change the way I plant um, uh, strawberries. Because every year I don't really get, m I didn't plant a lot, but um, I don't get much fruit because the slugs usually eat them. So this time I bought this uh, five tier planter and I'm going to try and uh, use this one see if uh, see if it will make a difference it will make a difference because I'm sure the slug will not climb up <laughs> it's nice it's kind of latch see it latches so I have they, they also have the like um, I think ten tier but I only got the short one one two three four five five tiers it's actually good I like it so what I'm going to do is um, just uh, scoop some garden soil. So this is where I planted the um, sweet potato, where I didn't get any <laughs> any sweet potatoes, but I enjoyed the greens. Anyway, so I'm going to do is um, mix up some um, garden soil with the potting soil. See this potting mix soil. That will be my uh, like uh, the nutrients. Although, although my garden soil is fertile anyway, but I'm gonna mix some of that. Okay, so all I do is just do this, mix it with this um, potting mix soil. Oh. 
Ooh, it has some um. Mm. Look, my garden has a lot of worms, guys. Eee. But I guess it's supposed to be good. <laughs> that means your soil is fertile if it has a lot of rain. I if it has a lot of um, worms. Okay. So all I do is just mix them up. Okay. I need more soil, garden soil. Oh, more, more, more worms. Okay, hang on guys. Let me finish scooping the soil here, okay? I gotta fill this pot, mix them up, and put it in the uh, planter. Hold on guys. Okay guys, so uh, I have incorporated the uh, potting mix soil with the garden soil, good. And now, I'm going to fill in the uh, planter. Okay guys, so I'm going to do this because it's heavy, I cannot pick the sting here, all there, over there, so I'm just gonna get some here, put some here and there. I'm excited next year I'll have really good strawberries okay guys hold on Okay, let's fill the planter. That's all I'm doing like this. So guys. So I have to fill in I have to fill uh, the three sides, so this one here, that one, and right here. So let me um, finish filling, putting the soil in, and then I'll show how it looks like. Hold on. Okay, guys, I'm on the last year. By the way, I want to tell you guys that this planter has a uh, built-in hole. See, it has, oh, it has holes over here. And holes it has holes on three sides so uh, there is a good drainage it, it will drain all the way to the uh, floor to the ground there so anyway I'm filling in the last tier Ooh, this is a good workout for me <laughs> the soil is so wet that it, it, uh, it's like a paste there it sticks to the uh, container I put the thing over here to hold the um, to hold the handle see this it comes with a handle but I put a uh, I uh, put a nail in there to stop it from uh, rolling down falling down I should say This is really cool. I should have done this long time ago. I don't know why I did not. I think this is a cool idea. Now I don't have to worry about uh, the slugs eating the strawberries. I'll just have to worry about the birds, but this is easier to protect from the birds, so I can just actually cover it with the net. So they cannot eat the berries oh this is really cool I actually have two I got two planters like this but the other one I think I'm going to use it for um, uh, planting ladders I thought it will be cool very nice
each tier uh, was filled with a bay with one basin like this <laughs> small basin wow it's really good oh my gosh look at that so this should be this should this should be good for the strawberries because I mix them some uh, puppy mixer and then of course in the springtime I put I'll put uh, some compost around it and then now I'm going to so I'm going to put some plants and guys I'm looking for my knife where did I put it I gotta dig, dig out some um, I put some um, strawberries why not and plant them hold on guys now let's get some strawberry plants I'm going to put this one here and plant it right there nice there oh oh it has a lot of uh it has a lot of new plants see this I can plant that too so that was a lot. Oh, how many plants in that? One thing. Yay. Very nice. Okay, guys, let me finish uprooting them and then uh, uh, I'll plant them after everything is uprooted. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys, let's get planting. Let's see. So, oh, look at this. Nice. So, just like that. There. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice. Oh, that's really cool, guys. Ah, look at this. The plant's happy. That's really beautiful, guys. Nice. Okay. Deal with the roots. Make sure it's buried deep. Okay, let's see. Come on, guys. If it's if the plant is tiny, I put two. I'm putting one more. Oh my goodness, nice. Make a, should I make it? Make a very deep.
Nice, look at this. Okay, guys. I have more on the other side. Hold on, guys. I'm almost done. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Last one, guys. Do the top one. Oh. I want to make sure it's deep. It's in there deep. There we go. I'm going to put two. And last one. There you go, guys. I'm done. Oh, wow. Look at them. They are pretty, guys. Oh, I dropped my thing. Look, guys. Woohoo. It has um, strawberries all around. I'm excited. I think it will be beautiful next year. I'll have berries like... Um, uh, you know laying down all around here like uh, cascading here oh, it'll be beautiful okay guys um, that's all I have today um, thank you very much for watching I'll see you soon bye bye